Yeah, come on in. It's open. Hey, you got, you got a minute to talk? Yeah, man. Yes, I do. But uh, first, take a seat. Okay. I want you to listen to something. I want you to tell me what you think. Okay? All right. <clears throat> I mean, it's... Just listen. <clears throat> Heading down the Midwest Highway, chasing down the end of Skyline. Brothers in arms just headed to the combine. As the day turns into night, clock's ticking down, and there's one more play, one more pass, and you're on your way. This is where it gets good. <clears throat> hey, he's a long shot, it's a long shot. Who? Gonna be ready for some tonight. Gotta be something for the big bright lights. He's a long shot. He's a long shot. Ooh. Yeah. Some, some gonna win the game. Some Hall of Fame. I don't know, man. It's, it's, <laughs> that's all I got. <clears throat> what do you think? You wrote that? Yeah. I mean, for you. You know, for, I mean, for us. For, you know, the show. I don't know. I was gonna show it to Julia. You think she'll like it? It was amazing. Yeah. All right. I mean, you really think so? I mean, it's just a start, but... No. Well, how, how long have you been working on it? About 30 minutes. Jeez. Yeah. Wow, man. It was great. It's great. Cool. Cool. It's great. <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, D, you, you want to ask me something? Nah. Nah, you, uh... You, you answered it. You answered it. Yes, I did. My man. Yes, I did, because I'm psychic. I know you better than you know yourself, D. <laughs> All right, you like it. Okay, this is good. This is good. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Getting ready for something tonight. Maybe big bright lights. Win this game. Gonna go to the Hall of Fame. Yes, that's it. Charles, we've arrived at the moment Longshot fans have all been waiting for. Yeah, Brandon, Devin Wade gets his shot to prove himself here tonight. And an interesting setup for this one. Wade's team, they'll only be playing one side of the football. Yeah, that's right, Brandon. He's going to lead his offense in a series of five different scenarios. And let's be clear, it's not just any offense against any defense. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. And the same could be said for the defense. Former NFL player Larry English is out here trying to prove himself tonight in Longshot. And no doubt that's what's got so many people tuning in right now let's go down to the field larry it's good to see you again but the question everybody wants to know is how does it feel to be out there again today man great great i feel you know my body's healthier than i've been in a while and you know really at this point i just want to show people i can still play well listen this is your shot this is your chance this is your opportunity to redeem yourself everybody's waiting and i know they're excited to see you back in uniform as am i good luck out there today thank you Man, I wish I had a jersey to put on. If you want these scouts to buy in, you got to leave it all out there on the field. We've come a long way. It's time to show off to the world. Let's go. Yes, sir, coach. Don't get in your head. Trust your arm, and you'll ace this. All set. Let's break! So, Charles, what are Devin and the guys facing on the first challenge? Well, when we're calling a normal game, we call this four-minute offense. They call this first challenge, put the game away. He's going to start at his 20-yard line with four minutes left on the clock. All right, boys, here we go. All right, come on, eyes on me. Let's go out there and prove to the world that we belong. Well, we definitely belong. I mean, I was all-conference at UT, and I know I haven't played it down in the NFL, but uh, we're standing next to a bunch of dudes who have. No, I, I know we do. All right, we just need to prove it to the scouts and to the people back home. Oh, man, I can't wait till one of these dudes comes to me. I'm going to show these guys just how fast the cruise missile really is. <laughs> All right, good. All right, look, these guys have never played together like we have. All right, we've been lining up in this huddle since we were seven years old. Yeah, it feels like old times, doesn't oh, it? Oh, you got that right, man. What's happening, fellas? Y'all got room for one more? Yeah, uh... <gasps> This is awesome. What? What are you doing here? 
my audition tape, man. I went from playing with Philip Rivers to sitting on my couch. <laughs> Ain't ready to call it quits yet. Hey, I heard you know this long shot, dude. Oh, yeah, I played with this chump back in high school, man. You know that guy that has everything and still whines about it? That's him. I've had to work for everything in my life. I mix some place tonight. It might be my name to call next week instead of his. Yeah. Hey, you just stay out of my way, all right? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Brito. Come on. All right, Devin, here's the play. Trips right. 34 blast. You got to drive down the field for four minutes without giving the ball back. Run out the clock, and you complete the challenge. Give it back to the other team. You failed. Be careful. They're going to be expecting you to run, so I'm going to mix in plenty of pass plays. We got trips right, 34 blasts. OK, ready? Hey, long shot. You're going to get hit today. So here we go. First play, first challenge. Devin and his teammates need to hold on to the ball for four minutes. And it's not going to be easy because you can't just run basic dive plays. They expect to take those four minutes off the clock. You still have to run your offense and take care of the football. Devin certainly has a little help back there. Justin Forsett lining up in the backfield. When you think about all-purpose players, guys who can do it all, protect the passer, run the football, catch out of the backfield, as well as had a ton of patience in his NFL career, because it took him a long time before he became a starter, that's Justin Forsett, one of the fun ones. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Third and a bit here for Devin. Oh, he almost picked it. Nearly a turnover there on their opening drive. And that's a throw he'd like to have back. Now fourth down. And they have to go for it on fourth to keep the drive alive. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he finds Cook. So they pick up the first and extend the drive. What do you think? What do you expect from the defensive side? Run blitzes and then run blitzes, and then run blitzes, because they've got to create a play here that makes things negative for the offense and puts them behind the chains, as we like to say, and forces their hand. Wade to throw. He throws, and he hits the slant route to Thomas. So Charles Devin Wade, everyone knows him through long shot. Maybe the, only the surface story. What is the backstory? Where did he come from? Well, let's go back to Mathis High School. When he came out, he was the number one quarterback in the country five-star recruit and, and I would say that if they could give a six-star he would have had it had all the tools if he had been a baseball player who would have said he was a five-tool kid so that play gets him across midfield and in nice position yeah I'm impressed I'm not sure where you stand on this one but look before we started we really weren't sure what to expect they've gotten past midfield now starting to move the ball really really well Devin will throw and Cook has it left side and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Around a minute remaining. Can they score or run out the clock? And Devin Wade will throw it again. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. First and 10, Devin Wade back to pass. And that incompletion breaks a string of five straight connections. And it's second down. Second and ten, Wade to throw it again. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Big third down, need to keep the drive alive and keep that clock moving. And this is the challenge within the challenge for Devin Wade. You want to win the overall scenario, but at the same time, make plays that have the scouts write down their book. They like what they see. Devin drops back. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. But he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. 
It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. In the red zone now, challenge number one and the pressure mounting. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. So Devin Wade and Longshot passed the first test as the clock runs out. Pretty impressive. It was impressive. What we saw there, he had to milk the clock, manipulate everything on each and every snap. He did it like he was a veteran. A nice job by Devin Wade on the first challenge, don't you think? Yeah, you know, he did just fine. He got rid of the nerves and showed that he could handle the pressure. But I do think it'll be interesting to see him handle what's coming up because there are a lot of challenges left. Now, here's where guys under center make their money, the two-minute drill. And that is challenging. But all-time greats like Dan Marino and Tom Brady, they've made their bones in moments like this. Let's see how Devin handles it. All right. Here we go, fellas. Here we go. All right, let's go gun. Trips right verticals. All right, let's get everybody deep. Let's get everybody deep. Hey, there better be some looks for me on this drive here, Dev. I mean, we have been waiting for this our whole lives, man. Hey, don't worry. I got you, baby. Let's go. Well, get me, too. I'm the one people remember. Oh, they're going to remember the cruise missile. Trust me on that. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. Ready? Right. The who? <laughs> Who's missile? All right, Devin, make smart decisions on this drive. Use the sidelines. Conserve the clock. 80 yards to go. First and 10. Watch that clock. Not much time. Throwing to start the drive. Wade. I want to get back to something. We were starting to talk about Devin's history. You said he was a five-star quarterback when he went to Texas. What went wrong? What's the word that we hear so often now with youngsters in today's society? Entitlement. Mm. All right, you know, when he first went there, he obviously looked the part. I think maybe Coach Hauser did him a disservice by handing him the job right after the spring game. <laughs> As I said, he definitely looked the part, but he wasn't ready. Not by a long shot. Pun intended. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Looking to throw. Wade. And he's got Colt. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. down following that long game. Wade in the gun. Catch here, left side, Thomas. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And Devin will throw again. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. To throw again. Wade. That's caught. It's Thomas. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Back to throw. Wade. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. And thanks to the structure of the finale, Devin and the guys will be going for it on fourth down. On fourth down, Wade. Okay, so a failed challenge, but yeah, Devin seems to be showing some poise, some positives out there, no? And when you go back to that scenario, it's not unexpected, because I do think you can take 28 